Uh, I'm Professor Nasneen Rahman. I'm head of the Division of Genetics and Epidemiology at the Institute of Cancer Research. I also run the Clinical Cancer Genetics Service at the Royal Marsden Hospital. The Division of Genetics and Epidemiology is focused on trying to find the genetic causes of cancer, that part of our genetic makeup that leads to having increased risks of cancer or potentially of causing a cancer to occur. It's important for a number of different reasons. Firstly, it can sometimes allow us to find out why an individual has developed cancer. In turn, that will help us to give them the best treatment, but it can also be helpful for their relatives who may be well now, but at risk of developing cancer. And if we know that ahead of time, we can sometimes give them extra screening or preventative strategies to stop them from getting cancer. Also, uh, at a more sort of fundamental level, finding out the genetic causes of cancer gives us much more information about why cancer develops, and in turn we can then use that to develop better therapies to treat cancer. We've been fortunate in the Division of Genetics and Epidemiology to have had a number of successes over the years finding uh, genetic variants that increase the risk of cancer occurring in a broad range of different cancers. Perhaps the most well-known is the BRCA2, the BRCA2 gene, which was identified at the Institute of Cancer Research and increases the risk of breast cancer occurring. More recently, my group has been able to identify a gene that increases the risk of ovarian cancer. Uh, that gene is called RAD51D. If you have a fault in the RAD51D, the chance of getting ovarian cancer is about six times the normal woman's risk. So over a lifetime, about 10% of such women will develop ovarian cancer. So that's been very helpful in identifying new ways in which ovarian cancer occurs and giving more information to those families. But also what we've been able to show is that um, ovarian cancer that's due to RAD51D gene faults appear to be more sensitive to a particular type of drug therapy and we're now investigating that as it may prove to be a useful treatment for those women. Identifying the genetic causes of cancer can be very helpful for a number of different ways. It gives us more information about why cancer occurs. Each person's genetic makeup is obviously individual, and if we can find for a given person which aspects of that genetic makeup have led to that cancer occurring, that will allow us to give them more personalised treatments, um, management, and therapies that are particularly uh, useful for them. For example, different drugs may be particularly effective or less effective, and we may be able to identify which particular genetic causes have contributed to that cancer occurring. So um, currently we're in a, a, an era where we're identifying a lot more of these genetic changes which we can integrate with other types of information to give personalised best management for uh, individual patients. It's incredibly exciting working in the field of genetics, particularly at the current time. There have been huge changes in the technology we can use, uh, the way that the internet increases our ability to do large-scale collaborations, all sorts of changes in um, informatics. And all of these are sort of working together uh, to allow us to do uh, research on a scale that was simply unimaginable only a few years ago. So it's very exciting and we're making, and we hope to make, a lot of new discoveries over the next few years. Um, from a sort of personal level, it, it's very exciting intellectually. It's, it's sort of like finding lots of different puzzles that we're trying to sort out. And often you have to be quite creative in uh, trying to think of new ways of, of looking at things in order to tease out the underlying um, causes. And uh, then for those things to be beneficial directly for patients in terms of finding out why they may have got cancer and also giving information to other researchers so that they can develop new therapies to help uh, those patients means that it's both very exciting and incredibly rewarding.